officially just another statistic. But before you rant and rave about how I don't know what I'm doing and how this was just a, a crass decision and I didn't think about it, stop. You're wrong. I did think about it. I thought long and hard about it. And here I'm going to explain to you why I'm dropping out of Booth University College. Being the broke person I am, I decided to go to the college that was the cheapest, which is Booth. But my decision coming here relied heavily on the fact that I needed to get a 3.2, at the least, GPA to uh, guarantee I was, you know, lock in that I'm going to get this certain scholarship that's going to make this place a whole lot cheaper. I was not a good student in high school. Out of 500 students in my graduating class, I graduated at 482. That is like the bottom, bottom, bottom of the barrel, right? But in my last two months of senior year in high school in Omaha, I managed to work my ass off and get a 3.2 GPA. I have confirmation from them in several emails and written mail saying I'm, um, I'm led into the college, uh, that I have the scholarship and I get up here and it's time to pay tuition and guess what they say? Uh, you never received the scholarship? And for someone that doesn't have a lot of money, coming up here, my main thing was because I got the scholarship, so it made this place like 40 or 50% cheaper than it actually is. So I was so excited to come here because I got the scholarship, then I get up here and they say, well, we never gave you that scholarship. Say what now? It, it is a 12 hour drive from Davenport, Iowa, the Quad Cities, to Winnipeg, Manitoba. Right? And now you're gonna tell me, oh, you never got that scholarship, we need you to pay full amount. Are you kidding me? Because I got the, the, the lowest you got was a 3.2, and anything above that, you would get the scholarship. I got a 3.2, and they're like, well, our grading system's different up here. And they're just making excuses on excuses about why I can't have the scholarship. Eventually, I did get it. That's the good part of the story, but the bad part is I had to argue to get the scholarship that I came up here because I got the scholarship, and when I got here, they weren't offering it. Also, just trying to communicate with this school was one of the most difficult things I have ever done. Email after email after email, call, text, Facebook message, whatever it is, I could not get a hold of someone to answer some of my most simple questions. And their website, is just a chaos of lies and misconceptions. But on their website, another thing they said was that they offered a 24-7 gym that was across the street, um, but the pictures they were showing were of the YMCA down the street. Well, I'm looking up here like, oh, I'm gonna work out when I'm not studying and whatever, and turns out I can't because you guys don't have what you said you have on the website. So eventually they're like, oh, we worked the deal out again with U of W and you can go over to their school across the street and go to the gym. Cool, great, where are the memberships? We have to go get them yourself. So you go over there, get it, and then we go into the gym. It's so small. It's the size of the fifth floor commons. The floor I live on, it's that size. It is so small. There's one little uh, wall of mirrors. That's it. And I don't care about mirrors. But what I'm saying is it's definitely not the same pictures they're putting online. But I mean, not having the gym isn't a deal breaker, right? You know, it was a free thing that was part of our, you know, uh, an incentive with our tuition. I can't really fault the school that much. At, in terms of me wanting to drop out, that's not a valid reason. Just like this room isn't a valid reason or, you know, whatever. Those aren't huge valid reasons, but definitely the tuition area is a valid reason as to why I don't trust this place. Another thing with the tuition is two times they had me go down and pay even more money because they said, oh, there's some discrepancies in the payment that we need you to, you know, fix. So write another check. So if you don't know, the United States and Canada have two different currencies, the United States dollar and the Canadian monopoly money, and the US dollar is worth more than the Canadian dollar. So I give them the check and they're like, oh, Caleb, that's not right. You need to put the Canadian amount. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that because that would mean I'm paying another $3,000 more than what the tuition is. I had an argument with one of my friends here about you know, when you go to a college, they're supposed to tell you all the good and bad things. Because they can't just tell you, well, this isn't the military, they can't just lie to you, right? They're, they're supposed to be like, if you really want to come here and we want your money, we, we need to tell you the good and bad things. Like, oh, this is a great school, we are in a, uh, 
the highest crime rate area of all of Canada and also have one of the biggest homeless populations in Canada. And also, all the stores are, and restaurants close at 4 p.m. every day, but it's a really nice school. And I can get it if you don't want to tell kids that, but you could like warp it so much to make it sound like it's a good thing. Like, oh, businesses close a little early so that people do whatever, you know, make up some dumb reason. But for like the high murder rate and the homeless, you can say something like, oh, and we live in a little more of a uh, uh, impoverished area. This gives a chance if you want to do some humanitarian work to go out in the community and help those people and preach the gospel or, you know, whatever. You could spin it any way you want to make it sound good, but they just neglected to say anything like that. So, so far, here are my reasons as to why I'm dropping out. We have two buildings that only like 10% of them are actually being used and they lock all the doors to everything you need to get to when you know Someone's not in there So if I need to get to the computer lab or if I really need to use one of the empty classrooms to study or I need to go Talk to someone they're not here. I can't do anything like that one uh, two they kept lying about tuition and I had to argue just to pay the damn tuition and three, I couldn't get my scholarship for the longest time coming up here because I'm supposed to get it automatically, but I had to fight the whole day to get it. Uh, three, my bike got stolen and they decided not to do anything about it. And then they decided to uh, hide the bike frame from me and then say, oh, well, we thought we told you we hid the bike frame. Five, they neglected to say anything about the city. Winnipeg is, my gosh, one of the worst cities. Someone just got shot down Portage. Uh, two people just got stabbed at the U of W, where, where that gym is, like literally across the street. In some of the time lapses, you'll see that intersection just across the street. Two people just got stabbed walking out of the gym. Another person got stabbed over here. I've seen, I don't know how many drunk people get picked up for pissing on people in public and fighting people. And those are my reasons for leaving. I am just fed up.